everyone. Um, today I'm going to be uh, going through the this little laptop here, the uh, HP 250G4. I'm going to be doing just a, a walk, a walk around through the device, uh, just to show you guys what uh, what it looks like physically, what all the physical ports are on it, um, and just uh, go through some of the physical aspects of the device so that you can see what the hardware looks like um, before you buy it. So uh, this is the HP 250, as I said. Um, just the feel of the device when when you touch it and feel it feels very plasticky. Um, I use an HP as my daily driver, um, uh, and it's not as premium. It doesn't feel as premium as um, as the one that I use. But I don't think that was the intention. I think this is one of the uh, entry level uh, devices that HP have brought out, and uh, it's actually pretty pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, for the price, so let's go through. Let's go through the uh, the physical aspects of the device first. Let's go through the ports. On the right side of the device, you've got uh, an SD card slot. You've got the indication LEDs, uh, one USB 2.0, and the optical drive and the lock slot there. On the left hand side, you have the charge port. You've got the vent, a VGA output, uh, Ethernet port, HDMI, one USB 3 and a normal USB 2.0, and then a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the front, there's nothing on the front. Clean on the back, nothing on the back as well. You can see there. And then this is what the top looks like. And this is what the back looks like. Okay, we'll set the battery slots in at the back. You've got this rubber that stops it from moving around. Okay, I'm going to open this guy up so you can see. Hopefully, the screen comes on and you can actually see what it looks like. Kind of. Um, so, the keyboard's actually pretty good. I must say, it's solid. The one thing that I did find that was a little bit weird was this trackpad when I uh, left click it like just did stuff so if I bring up the context menu for instance and I uh, you know when I right click and I scroll through the context options sometimes it would disappear off of me I don't know why it was kind of frustrating but it could be easily overcome with um, with using an external mouse that uh, it wouldn't have caused any issues so um, it has an Intel Pentium CPU 38525U clocked at 1.9 gigahertz each core. It's a dual core CPU, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 bit operating system, and it's got a terabyte hard drive in it. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's got a Windows 10 single language license on it. It doesn't come with much, to be quite honest with you. I switched it on and it had this Amazon app on it, and it had this. Uh, TripAdvisor, and it's got the normal McAfee software, you know, all the normal bloatware that you normally get, but not too much stuff. Uh, it's actually quite nice to see that there isn't like a lot of garbage on this thing that you don't need. Um, it runs fairly well. I haven't done any benchmarks on it. I haven't done any battery benchmarks on it. I've done no benchmarks on it. I've basically just tested all the Vodafone modems that uh, that's currently in the market here in. Uh, in our country, um, they all work because it's Windows 10. Uh, all the newer modems work really well. It's actually quite cool. You just plug it in. Um, Windows picks it up and it treats it as a, as a cellular device. Um, it actually just picks it up. You can then click on connect. You put your pin, a SIM pin in if you've got one, and it connects to the to the to the network. You can set it as a metered connection. You can um, you can set the APNs on it, and it all works. It all works perfectly. So uh, it's quite nice and easy to use when it comes to the um, to when it comes to the modems, and uh, yeah. So um, that's the that's the overview of the HP 250G4. I'll put in the description so that you can see what modems are working with uh, with this device. Okay, guys, great. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, 
and uh, please uh, comment if you if you've got any questions or subscribe that'd be great even uh, liking the video would be awesome thank you so much cheers